Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Slim Shaky Show. I'm your host, Slim Shaky, and today we are up to episode four. And we actually have a very special guest today. Uh, this is a friend that I've known since middle school, 141. Me and him haven't really been like in contact that much until 2019. We kind of rekindled again, and we started talking a lot more because we had a mutual friend uh, between us. And yeah, he's here today. Uh, Shadman, say what's up to the viewers. What's up, man? It's Shadman. Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, absolutely. No problem, man. So, for the viewers watching at home, why don't you just, like, introduce yourself and, like, a little bit about you? Um, yeah, Shadman, 22 years old, you know, same ethnicity as Shake over here. Yeah, bro, yo, this man's single, bro. It's, yo, if there's, <laughs> any auntie, if, yo, if there's any aunties listening, bro, you know, fuck them up. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really want the gossip aunties. <laughs> Yeah, but I feel you, bro. Shit, I mean, but yo, dude, how's life, man? How you been? It's good. I mean, it's getting better now. Quarantine, been stuck for like four months inside. You just slowly lose your mind. Yeah, honestly, yeah, relatable, bro. Seriously, like, just being indoors just sucks. Honestly, this whole entire year is just horrible. Dude, it's just one thing after another. It's like a domino falling. It really is, bro. Like, literally, if you look at every single month, there hasn't been any good news. It's just one thing after another. One thing's over, something else starts. Yeah, bro. So it's basically how it is. And then, dude, I took a walk outside my house for like, uh, like a few weeks ago for the first time, and I acted like I just moved here. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, dude, it'd be like that, man. It'd be like that, like dude. Like... Yeah, bro. Nah, so, um, as far as I remember since the last time we spoke, uh, you worked at the airport. Do you still work at the airport? Yeah, they, uh, they called me back. Surprisingly. Oh, okay. They All laid right. me off, and they're like, they laid me off. I was like, alright, cool. Guess you guys oh, hired me. Good. And then, um, a few weeks ago, they called me. They called me. And they're like, hey, uh, you want to come back? And I'm just like, uh, I'll come after July. Give me a month. All right. I thought right there they'll be like, we're not waiting a month for your ass. Your ass. We're not. Then we're not. We don't want you back then. But then they actually were like, okay. All right. Shit. Sure. No, they you, waited man. a month, and then now I'm back. All they right, get back shit. into work. I get back into work, and everyone's like, damn, they rehired you? They want you back? <laughs> I'm dead. I mean, good to see you, bro, but damn, you're the last person I would have expected. I'm like, yo, I'm Jeez, this damn. Like, yo, I I'm assuming that people at your work don't like you or some shit. No, it's not that. It's just like, not that they don't, I like, they don't like me. I get along with everybody. We all get along. All it's right. just that, that, you know, that, like, talking shit, like, they hired you back? Damn, oh, you? And I'm just like, they hired you back? fuck yeah. they want you for I get you. it's like that it's like bantering so yo so obviously I've, since you've been working at the airport you must have encountered some crazy ass shit yeah i feel like especially if you work at jfk that's like i feel like jfk were like international crackheads go to yeah like, like I, i'm used to near crackheads but i had like the honor of meeting crackheads from different you know nationalities in different countries each country has a different crackhead which is, like, I, I found out. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty interesting. I mean, like, w was there any, like, memorable one that stood out? Like, the most craziest encounter you had? I think the, the crackhead that scared me the most was the one who acted the most calm, in my opinion. So I'm used to the crazy ones. But the one that's still a crackhead but still remains calm, like, calm and centered, that fucking scares me. So, like, do, do, do so you know, I remember, yeah, yeah, so I remember, like, um... I'm checking in passengers for flight, and this, mind you, this is the middle of, like, July in the summer, and it's, like, okay. 90, 90 plus degrees. This dude comes in with, like, a, a, a hoodie on plus a leather jacket and, like, full pants and boots in 90 degree weather. Yo, it, like... He leather jacket, and we've had incidents where people come in, we've had incidents where people come into the airport, and in those big-ass jackets, they have, like, a gun. Oh, some shit. Go. Shit. So he comes, he comes in, he checks in with me, and I'm, and I'm, we have that, like, the security at the airport has, like, protocols, like, if you see a guy like that, that's kind of suspicious, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, why are you wearing a jacket when it's, like, 95 degrees outside? And so he gives me his passport, bro, it's his Russian passport, it's the most beat-up passport I've ever seen, it looks like a dog chewed it. <laughs> and it looks like it hasn't been renewed for, like, 25 years. Damn. I'm like, bro, I, I open it, I'm like, dude, I can't even see your picture. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Like, like it's what, like it's that old. Related? Like it's Damn, that bro. old. Like it's not old and beat up. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do with this? 
and yeah. then I can't scan it. I can't put it into the system to even check when's his flight, if he even has a flight with us. So I'm like, hey, sir, are you flying with us tonight? And he, dude, he looks me straight in the fucking eye, doesn't blink, has like, like he has the eyes of like a, of like a dead great white shark. <laughs> and then he just looks at me, he's like, hey, with a Russian accent, I like, go to plane. And I'm just like, yeah, but I need to, what's your destination? This dude looks at me and he says, home. And I'm just like, bro, I'm about to call the doctor. This dude, this dude is legit. And he's like standing there, like towering over me. And he's fucking, and he, and he starts shaking. Oh. Like, like he's vibrating or something. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I, I, I'm like, I don't know where this guy's going. I don't know what he wants. Dude who has a long ass leather jacket over. He could, dude could be carrying a fucking machete for all I fucking know. That's true, bro. So I was like, yo, let me go get the manager real quick. Because I don't right. speak Russian. Yeah. So I get I get a coworker. She speaks Russian, and she starts speaking Russian to him. And then I'm like, "Yo, do you know where he's trying to go?" She's like, "I don't know. What the fuck he's saying?" And I'm just like, "What the fuck, dude?" What the fuck? Like, there are people who come into the airport with their passports, but they're not going anywhere. Like, they don't go. They're not going. Like, why would you come to the airport? Not weird. If, you're not, if you're not, if you don't have a destination, you feel me? Yeah. I don't go there for shits and giggles. Yeah. And the, like the thickest Russian accent, he looks so intimidating, and he just so sus. And I'm just like, what the fuck? He's, if he started screaming like a crackhead, I'd be like, all right, that's normal, you know? I could deal with that. Yeah. But if he's just acting mad sus and like cold, like get me on plane. No, bro. <laughs> do do you have a flight? I'm not putting you on a what? And that's just that's just fucking like weird and scary. And security was looking at him, od. Dude, no, honestly, bro, just be glad that this dude didn't pull out like a freaking gun or some shit. Yeah, one guy was going to Turkey and uh, he had a he bought a gun with him, but he didn't have the <laughs> license. Oh shit! He put it in his check bag, and then so you know when they scan your bags downstairs, they find the gun, right? Yeah. Well, all the next thing I know, Port Authority police was all over our our office. I'm like, what the fuck? And they're questioning the the my coworker who checked him in. We don't check, we don't scan the bags when you check in, obviously, right? Yeah. So we don't know there's a fucking gun there. And so I'm like, they're they're clearing her, so they don't, they you know, so she's not an accomplice. Yeah. And he's just like, no, it's my gun for Turkey. And we're like, bro, you ain't, why are you putting a gun onto the plane? You don't have to stop the license. <laughs> yeah, what the nothing. fuck? We've had people bring hunting rifles before, but that's fine because you could disassemble it. Yeah. And hunting rifles aren't as dangerous. The dude brought a whole pistol. Jeez. And we we had to get the bag back, take out the gun, and then they took him out for questioning. And now, and now because of that, dude, they'd be asking, like, hey, when you get a passenger, ask them if they have any firearms. I'm not going to check somebody in and be like, hey, how, how are you, sir? Um, where are you flying to? Oh, cool. Uh, you got a gun in there? <laughs> I'm not, dude. And God forbid, if the, if the passenger's brown, I'm asking, yo, you got a gun in there, bro? Oh, shit. I'm not saying that, dude. So yeah, I'm just perfect. like, yeah. Uh, so, like, I just work around it. I'm like, hey, you got any has You got any dangerous stuff in there? No? Okay, cool. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> Yeah. But I had one, in the, but the best ones, like the meltdowns, you see, is people who miss their flights. Oh, shit. Like the people who come late and somehow it's our fault. <laughs> uh, like you have four hours, there's a four hour window, you have four hours to get here, right? Yeah. Because you open the flight four hours before departure. Everybody else gets here on time. People who come in late, they're like, oh, can you, can you, like, can you get me on the flight? I'm like, yo everyone's on the plane the plane's about to take off you know what they say what would they say if they could put the plane in reverse hey what on, i was like you mean i'm like bro there's like 300 people on that plane you want me to like inconvenience them and the pilot and the crew just so you can get on no you that's not even possible no no, no dude it's not even just that like dude does this man think he's like the president of the united states or some shit yeah no because like they feel entitled because they bought a ticket i'm like yeah you did buy a ticket for tonight's yeah. flight and it says come <laughs> on time like you'd be, you'd be very like, cause they don't. You'd be very surprised. Cause people don't want to take responsibilities, so they instead of instead of like dealing with that embarrassment that they came late, that this is on them, they put it out on us, like it's our fault somehow. Wait, wait. So um, when the when the person misses the flight, right? Yeah. That means uh, they have to wait for like what? How, no, how many they, hours? Um, they don't gotta wait. They gotta buy a whole new ticket. Wait, what? They have to buy a whole new ticket. Oh shit. Cause you bought a ticket for that. Their tickets are like any airline tickets, unless you buy like a first class ticket. 
Yeah. Or like a special flexible ticket. Tickets are like non renewable, non refundable. Oh shit. Unless it's like yeah. a emerg- unless it's like an emergency situation. No, no, because I, I like I always thought that like if you, if you missed your flight, right? I thought like you know that that same airline, the like the very next flight, like after. Nah, they nah, they won't put you on. Nah, you got to buy oh, the whole new ticket. Sure. Damn, dude. Nah, that's not how it works. Well, I mean, you know what? At least it's a good thing we're brown, cause us brown, like I switch our parents make us like go to the plane like five hours early, bro. Oh, do we get there before like the pilots even arrive? <laughs> no facts, bro. I I checked in brown people all the time, and they, they they do that. Yeah, I mean, like, nah, I check in, and then you know they find out I'm brown, they want like a discount. <laughs> oh no, my god! You no, know, cause they they um they have to pay for their bags, right? Yeah. And then they ask for a discount. I'm like, dude, I can make I can't even give myself a discount. Jeez. I'm like, who are you asking a discount for? And it's like, you know, hook it up. I'm just like, I, nope. Nope, who do you think you're asking? Yeah. Nah, and then, like, Nick, you know, they start, like, speaking in, like, I'm pretty sure they start speaking Bengali, but I'm pretty sure you can't really sp- speak it, right? I think you have to, like, speak mostly in, in English, right? I-, I can speak, like, not the best, but a good amount of Bengali, but I don't, because then that gives them leverage. So, yeah. You know, I'm so I'm just like, oh, I don't know what you're saying. Damn, or I'll just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I only speak Hindi. Which is a lie. <laughs> and then, yeah, so um, the passengers who come late, somehow, they don't want to deal with that. They're embarrassed that they're late. Yeah. But they, to deal with that embarrassment, they put it on us. And then, um, and, like, you have to put me on that flight. I need to get on that flight. You have, like, they look at me like, you are going to put me on that fucking flight. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, I look at my manager, I'm like, hey, bro, you take over. And then they're like, yeah, you're not getting on this flight. Like, you, you're late, you're late. Like, that's what it is. And they act, they act so pretentious and, like, entitled. You have no idea. Jesus. Dude, that's why, dude, the airport made me realize the most entitled and, like, pompous people are, are two words, middle class. <laughs> like, the actual rich people that we have who fly, like, business and everything, when they miss flights, they're like, okay. Can't well, yeah, it. yeah, well, yeah, because yeah. then, then they can legit afford, like, another one, right? But yeah, yeah, but if someone who's, like, can't be able to, like, afford a, a new plane ticket, they're like, oh, damn, I missed it, fuck. And they'll just walk away, right? Do what they gotta do, right? Yeah. Or if there's someone in the middle who can technically afford another ticket, but they don't want to. Yeah. Middle class. They're the most entitled fucking people I've ever seen in my fucking life. It's like, they're not broke enough to be sad about it. And then are rich enough to not give a fuck. <laughs> so they're in the middle, and then they're the they're the worst. That's what I learned. And then they're like, "You have to get me on that fucking flight. You have to do it. This is your job." I'm like, "No, no, nope, nope. You 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 got it twisted, man. You got it all twisted. You got to call and book another flight." I had one lady. She was so she got freaked out, started crying. Right? Yeah. But then she got enraged. She was screaming at us. You better get me on a fucking flight. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, sorry to cut you out. But this and lady, was she, was she brown? She was white. Oh, God. Yeah, and then you know what she did? We kept telling her, nope, she can't get on. To protest it, she went to the window, and she slammed her fucking head to the window. Oh, what the fuck? To the glass. And mind you, airport glass is like plexiglass. That shit is hard. Yeah. That's, those things withstand, like, wind turbulence. Yeah. So she banged her fucking forehead, and it was a loud ass thump noise. And we were like, what the fuck? She knocked herself out. Oh, so shit. So, an ambulance got called, and they put her into the ambulance. Like, dude, like, no, I mean, okay, listen, I understand you missed the flight. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. You, sh- you should have killed No, they, her, they, do they legit act like animals. But no, but what I don't understand is, like, people who miss these flights, right, especially what you said about the lady, like, she made it seem like it's, like, the last flight on, on Earth, bro. That's it. Like, she, she could never get another flight. Unless it was, like, some kind of family emergency or some shit. Nah, they just act crazy. Because they missed what they paid for, that's why. Yeah. And just, they just don't want to deal with that. It's like, dude, now I know whenever I fly, I get there on time. Yeah, yeah. facts. And, then, and the people who don't want to pay for things that they owe, I'm like, dude, what? what? Like, not everything comes with your ticket. All yeah. that comes with your ticket is your damn seat. And working, at, yeah, working at the airport is just, bro, the most... It's just crazy people, international crackheads, and people who are so intimidating and weird. But I mean, yo, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely sounds still interesting. Like, for me personally, I would love to. No, oh, it's, it's the interesting because it's like, dude, I met people from like around the world. Yeah. And I, I've, I've met like people who are like half this and half that that I've never thought were possible. 
Yo, have you met any celebrity? Um, I took a picture with Lil Skies. Okay. Yeah. He came. He came in, and then I'm like, is that, he tried to be like, um, all like wear a hoodie now. You know, celebrities wear a hoodie, mm-hmm. right? The, you know, not trying to show his face. He yeah. Really got face tattoos. Like you're the only fucking person I see with face tattoos. Mm-hmm. And he has like three big ass bodyguards with flying, yeah. like big ass dudes. And then uh, I'm like, I recognize that guy because I bought tickets to Rolling Loud, and then he was performing there, like a month after. All right. So I I spotted him, and but I didn't want to bother him because the other people on the flight, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went up to his bodyguard. I told him, Hey, listen, I'm in charge of this flight today, right? That's your boys on. If I take a picture with him, you know, um, I'll let you guys board first. Oh shit! <laughs> and the bodyguard told it to him, and the bodyguard asked him, "Those guys," and then those guys was like, and "He's just like, man, I don't want to take no fucking picture, bro." And Wait, the bodyguard for real? Told, he said that. Yeah, like, and then bodyguard's like, "Listen, take the picture. We get the board first. His bodyguard told him, and then he was like, <sighs> "All right, fine." Damn, bro! So I, took, I took the picture with them. I'm like, I, pre- I appreciate it, man. I'll, I'll see you at Rolling Loud. He's like, "Yeah, for sure." And he yeah. got on the flight. And this white lady came up to me. She's like, oh my god, is he is he a famous person? And I'm just like, if you don't know, uh, I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. Like, it's yeah. one of those things where, like, you want, you want to take a picture with him because he's famous, not because of you know who he is and what he does. Yeah. Yeah, so I had that. And I had, um, uh, who had it? Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of little guys, like, I, yeah, I I'm, like, not that, I'm not. I'm not. I like, I like it when he's featured, but like, like, like especially the new, like rappers are pretty garbage. To be honest. Yeah, like a lot of the, like the mumble rappers. Yeah, but some of them, yeah. like I feel like majority, yes, but here and there they do drop gems. Bro, like it's like, dude, especially the worst type of fans is those be young boy fans. Oh, but yeah, Black Air Forces. Yeah. Yo, this is horrible. With the black air forces, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> yo, exactly. yo, if you're wearing black air forces, move away, bro. Yeah, and um, I met one more. I think I met um, I didn't see him, but I saw XXX uh, Tenshion. And Tenshion for real? Yeah, yeah. He was well. He wasn't flying with us. Uh, he was in the terminal, right? Oh shit! And then he, uh, he was in the terminal, and I saw him. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is that him? Like, I could be mistaken, but then he has, like, I could tell someone's famous because, like, they got four big ass bodyguards surrounding him like a wall. So yeah. I'm like, you don't got four dudes huddling over you like that unless you're famous, right? I'm like, recognize his face. I think he looks at me, and he could recognize that I recognize him. He just gave me a quick smile. I'm like, nah, that's him. <laughs> I go up to, I'm trying to go up to him, right? Because I went yeah. past security and I went up to him. The bodyguard legit blocked me, got right up in my face. He's like, no photos, nope, doesn't want me bothered. And I'm just like, does it help if I say I'm a fan? <laughs> actually, actually, that makes it worse. And he's like, nah, bodyguard legit blocked me. And I'm like, bro, I, dude, these bodyguards are huge. I'm not trying to start nothing. Yeah. So I just say, all right, cool. Sorry to bother you. And I walk by. That's it. And he gets nah, on but, to whatever flight he's going to. But nah, seriously, though, like, rest in peace, X, though. Damn. I mean, yeah. that must have been like, a, like, what, 2017, 2018? Yeah, 2018. Shit. Yeah, so, oh, oh yeah, and 2018 was the year that you also died too. Shit. And. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's, that's the majority of famous people that I've seen. Yeah. So, yo, I mean, damn, bro, you must have, yeah, you had some pretty fair share of interesting airport stories. So, I mean, apart from the airport, I mean, how's everything in school? Because uh, for, for the viewers who didn't know, me and Shadman actually go to the same college. So, well, how's school? Oh, dude. Well, online cool, classes? Bro. Online classes, so. You know, lots of Quizlet, Chegg. Kill facts. I just cheat. Dude, I just cheat on everything. That's it. It's just all it is. Okay, so like, yo, what's your reaction to this semester? Like, it's really confusing because it's like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was actually looking forward to, um, in person because I'm I'm not a big fan of online. It's like annoying. It's just like I would rather. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I like learning wise. Yeah, I'd rather be in a class. But if it's just to pass classes. Bro, I'll just make it online, then the cheat, and just get. No, the and game. then also this year is my senior year for me. What about yeah, for it's my se- yeah, it's my senior oh, year. Oh, all right. So that means we're yeah. graduating in the summer. Uh, yeah, I'm graduating probably in the summer. Oh shit! All right, so that means we're both graduating at the same time. Then. All right. Yeah, and then it's like um, 
Yeah, Wait, learning. So how exactly is it going to work? It's like, it's, it's going to be like, lab is going to be in person, and everything else is online, right? Well, um, I mean, I don't have any labs right now. Oh, yeah. So. No, it, it was mad weird, because like, because I have like, this one class, which is kind of like a lab, but I'm not sure. That means do I have to I had, I had one class that was in person, then they canceled yeah. it. Okay. They canceled the entire course for this for that semester. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Dude, what strippy is that? School starts in three weeks, bro. Yeah, it's online, though, so I'm like, no one's stressing. Yeah, I mean, no one's stressing, but at the same time, like, I mean, for me, it's, I'm just trying to figure out this lab situation, because one of the... Yeah, I, I mean, lab- if it's online, I mean, you know, your life is easier. Well, see what happens. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely disappointed that it's not in person. Cause like, obviously, I'm part of a club and shit like that. And like, yeah, cause like certain classes, I would, I would prefer to be in person. Like, if it's a lab or like a coding class, yeah, you, know, you would need to be there in person. Cause you know, that's just how you learn better. But in general, in general, classes online, I prefer that. Every, that's why everyone when they register for classes, they they fight to get online classes. Cause the online version of that class, instead of going there in person. It's just easier. Wow, you could just do everything from home, and who gives a shit? You could just cheat. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess for me personally, just I prefer in person. Yeah, just but like, person. yeah, for those important classes, I'd rather, yeah, in person. If you want to actually learn something. Sure. So, I mean, dude, besides classes and shit like that, uh, yo, like, you must have been to, like, a lot of college parties, I'm assuming. Before? Like, like way back? Yeah, 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 yeah like, before. Uh, I, I went a lot when, um, I first like started college, graduated high school, like around that time period. Okay. Did did you have any like funny stories? Yeah, like, dude. Like you know, I felt like the more that um, the more I went to them, the more tired of them I got. All right. That's I'm just like, it's just fun in the beginning. Then you're just like, <sighs> whatever. College yeah. party. Yeah. Uh, funny college parties. Yeah, yeah. Funny, dude. A lot of good ones. But um, one thing that I learned is like. I don't even know how uh, fraternities are are like legal. I have no I do have no clue why. Really? Fraternities are the dumbest things I've ever seen in my fucking life. I mean like oh explain why I'll elaborate. Like like not the the, the traditional ones, if you know what I'm talking about. So are you no, talking about like um the brothers and like where they're Yeah, like the brotherhood shit. Yeah. That's so dumb. I, I have, like, so I have, you know, people that I know uh, who are in, like, fraternities, right? Yeah. And I asked him, like, bro, how what's it like in there, like, a fraternity? He's like, dude, it's it's awesome, bro. Like, and then I'm like, if fraternities is basically just, like, you and, like, your boys, right, that you yeah. join, and you guys make a pact or a brotherhood. Yeah, and then like, you guys are, like, y'all, drinking, uh, like, and then dude, probably hooking up with the sorority. Dude, no, you just make, like, a pact a brotherhood. And it's acting like you're like a fucking pack of wolves or some shit. Yeah. And then it's it's just we. And then when you get in, there's you know there's a lot of incidents of hazing. Oh you know yeah. What, yeah if you know what hazing yeah. is. Yeah, I know, I know. And it's is. the weirdest yeah. fucking thing. Like one is one. Every fraternity is different, but one I heard is like in like I don't know, like some like schools in like Syracuse or some shit. When I went to like I went to one over there, they just like the they put a they tie like a a bandana around your eyes. You turn around and everyone takes a turn. Poking their fucking finger up your asshole. Yeah, dude, dude. It, like I'm saying, like this, 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 some that's, of these hazing things are mad bro, weird. It sounds like a fucking cult. Yeah, that has, bro. It's weird. And I'm bro. like, what the fuck? But I don't think all of them have that, but a good amount does. You know? Yeah. And so, and yeah, and it's just like, hey, it's like my, with me and my brothers, we fucking party and take care of each other. I'm like, take care of each other. He's like, yeah, bro. It's my brotherhood, bro. You know how fraternities? They also go like to other campuses. Yeah. So he's like, yo, if I'm in Florida or North Carolina, I have a place to stay, bro. Because they're my brothers, man. They're my brotherhood. I'm like, Jeez. what? I'm like, you're going to rely on them to take care of you because they're your brotherhood? Like, dude, brotherhood? Like, I could just, I could, like, take a group of my friends, right? And let's go out and do dumb shit. I'm not going to say we're a fraternity. Yeah, I feel you. And it's just, you know, they throw parties and everything, right? And they have, like, um, guidelines. Like, yeah. Like, you know when cops go out and they have to make a quota. Mm-hmm. Same thing with them. It's it's so it's so it's funny and dumb at the same time. It just makes me laugh. And it's like, yo, you have to like um, you either have to like get with this many girls, get you know, get these many numbers, or <laughs> this one special one. It's like get this many girls and ghost them. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's the real thing. Like, you had to at least get five girls, talk to them, they start talking, then ghost them. Because in the brotherhood, it's like, yo, you know, you gotta make sure that like, you're with the brotherhood. It's like, yo, you know, bitches ain't shit, or something like that. <laughs> Some Something you know, like that, you know? Yeah. Like, you get with girls, but don't care about girls. That's, the you know, that's like one of the, you know, not all, I'm saying, but the majority, yes. Of the traditional ones. Damn, dude. Throw parties and then, like, <laughs> and just, like, um, try to get girls to go to the parties and then, uh, get, you know, people to come join your, uh, your, uh, you know, your fraternity and join the brotherhood. So, besides brotherhood, sir, you must have had, like, some funny ass or, like, encounters with, like, with a girl. You had to have been. Yeah, yeah. Funny, uh, funny encounters? Yeah, I have, I have. Like, was there any one that stood out, like, let's just say, trying to make moves with a girl, and you're about, you know, something shit's about to go down, and then, did anything, like, like, for example, alright, here's an example, did she, like, throw up on you or some shit, and then, like, you know, it just, it was her turn off, or, like, shit like that, did anything, something like that ever happen to you? Um, I think there was, this is one, it's more, it's one of those things where it's so, it's so stupid, it's funny, that I was talking to this girl, I like, it's like a little party, it wasn't like a, a little party for like a college uh program right yeah i wasn't in that college and and then um <laughs> i was talking to her, and, you know they had weed and everything so you were smoking all right and then i'll never forget what she said she, we were smoking and then i was just getting to know each other and she's just like oh where are you like oh what's your ethnicity and, you know what's your background and then um i told her i'm bengali and, I, and this is exactly what she said she she took a fucking she took a she took a hit of the you know the, the the weed pen, and then she said, "Oh, you're Bengali, cool." So, um, how long you been Bengali for? And I'm just, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 like, I literally had a brain fart. Like, I went, uh, you know, when it's like you just like you just freeze. You just had like a brain fart. You just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, wait, wait, what? <laughs> it's one of those questions where it sounds like it makes sense, but it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. I'm like, how long I've been Bengali? I was like, like, I was high too, so I started questioning it. I was like, I, I don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> it's it's, been like, a it's while. like if someone asks you, like, oh, how long you been on that job for? Oh, I've been working here for five years. Damn, dude. So I was like, what the fuck is she asking me? I was like, um, I, I, I'm high, so I'm telling her, oh, you know, it's been a while. And she's like, oh, cool, cool. Now, because of her, like, every time, if I meet someone when I'm high, I'm going to just ask them that. Like, where are you from? Oh, cool. So, how long have you been that for? Damn. And just watch their face go, huh? Damn. That's one, that, that's one that's not wild, but it was just stupid. It just yeah, it is pretty I look stupid. Back at it, I look back at it, it just makes me smile. Like, it's kind of dumb, but it works. <laughs> I mean, no, are, you, are you still in contact with that girl or not? No. I'm not. No. There was another time when... The party lasted for five minutes. I shit you not. Really? The party, the party just, just began, right? So you're probably wondering, how exactly can a party end in five minutes? Cops. So, yeah, hold on. So one of my friends, like an idiot, decides to, you know, he brings alcohol and whatever, right? Next thing you know, this dude literally sh- uh, waves it up in the air. He's like, yo, guys, I got it. A freaking cop car drives through. And it just so happens, while he's raising it up in the air in front of the door, the fucking cop pulls through, he, you know, he starts putting on the siren. Yo, that's it, bro. Party's over, bro. Okay, bro, that's it, bro. I was like, shit. I mean, to be honest, I was hoping this year, 2020, was going to be like a gray-ass year I was going to go to. But nah, I didn't get the opportunity, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not as, hype, you know, as good as it's hyped up to be, honestly. I'm telling you right now. Like, well, I'm, I'm, house parties I'm, are always fun, it's like, ah... Uh, well, well, well I mean, to be honest, it depends. I feel like if you're, like, a very sociable person, then, yeah. You, yeah, you no, I'd rather, like the, like, the like the big-ass fraternity ones, I wouldn't recommend. Uh, but go to it once to fill it out, I recommend that. Yeah. Like, my opinion, for me, nah. Yeah. But those, those small ones, those small little get-together parties with college friends, those are pretty fun. Yeah, true, true, true. Because you just drink and, like, talk, and, you know, that's those are fun, because it's, like... If it's like a big ass house party for with a fraternity, it's like this is you know so many people, so much going on. It's like you know you don't have your own like social space, you know. But in those small get-togethers, like everyone knows each other. You get me? Yeah. So you're comfortable. You don't gotta like worry about anything. 
socially speaking. You don't have to. So that's why it's like it's about quality over quantity. I feel in my mm-hmm. opinion. I remember like this girl talking to a party, she thought she could take the shots. I'm like, go ahead, ended up puking in a fucking bin. <laughs> Damn. And I'm bro. like, hey, you you okay? And I went to a Christmas one um in uh 'cause I, for Christmas I was in uh I was in Philadelphia. Uh, uh, yeah, for sorry for Thanksgiving, sorry. And then over there, I went to a party, a house party, because they do house parties over there, because everyone, you know, it's all big houses over there. Mm-hmm. And it's like, they're doing that, and then we got, we got, we got, um, to get drunk, we want to get eggnog with it. So we went around the entire city trying to get eggnog. All and right. We could mix it with the alcohol and some cinnamon. And when we got back, and this girl was talking about how, like, some girls really do hype up how much they can drink, and when they drink, they throw up. I'm like, yeah. what happened to all the hype? Like, you just really, hi- you really hyped yourself up. She literally, like, like we were like starting beer pong. She was chugging the, the, the you know, the, the alcohol eggnog we made, and she just threw up in a trash can. Damn. Like the moment, like you put the, you, you throw the beer pong to the cup, all you hear is, <laughs> and like you know when like throw up gets on the sides of the of the of the tin. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you just hear a splat. Yeah, that splat sound. I was like, yo, what the fuck? It sounded like a fucking like. It sounds like when you're like watering your plants, the the hose. It just sounds like that, dude. Jeez. Just in the trash can. I'm like, oh man. So it's just yeah, no. My experience is with just what girls and parties is them throwing up or them saying dumb shit. Like, uh, if when I went to Florida for like a little vacation, yeah, I went to go. I went to a club, in Florida, and um, I was drunk out of my mind, right? Because shots mm-hmm. there were like $3. It was very cheap. So uh, I got out the club. It's a college town. You know what college town is, right? Yeah, yeah. Like all the kids, you know, who go to that university is in this town. And I remember I was just walking on the sidewalk, drunk as fuck. And then I, this girl's also drunk. And we started talking. As we're walking up the street, right? All right. Where are you from? What you doing? Oh, I think you're cool. You're cool too, right? And then um, I remember she had her own dorm. And then, okay. before she could say that, she had a, you know, every girl when they're drunk, they have that friend that's sober that take, takes, takes care of them. Yeah. So her friend comes in to take her, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm so drunk. I didn't know that when we were crossing the street, she was crossing the other way. I thought she was still next to me. Mm-hmm. So I look back, I'm like, they're gone. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm like, I'm like, oh my fucking God, dude. Are you serious? Like, I had, I had no sense of like direction. Jeez. But no, but. Yeah, college parties fun to go to for a while. Then it, it gets boring as you get like as you go more and more to them, and you get older. It's like eh, yeah, yeah. You know? But if you yeah. want to keep going to them, I mean that's your thing. You know, it's fun to experience. If no one's experienced yeah. it, I recommend it. But yeah. it gets boring and stale after a while. Yeah, I just want to go for the experience. But yeah, so apart from all the college part, I mean, dude, you uh, I've mentioned this before. You may known each other since like middle school, and like. It's kind of crazy, like, we haven't really been in contact, but it's, like, thinking of middle school, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not a fan of 141. I personally hated 141. Really? Why? I don't know, it's just, like, there was so many, like, douchebags, and it's just, like, it, I hated 141. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, some of the classes were fun, it was cool, but, like, nah, people there... I mean, like, I, I didn't like some, like, middle school's, like, the awkward years. Yeah. That's true for but, everybody. But, I mean, yo, I mean, what about you? Like, what do you think about middle school? Uh, I didn't like think it, it badly. Yeah, I liked it. I didn't think it badly of it. Yeah. Like, obviously, there's some bad, like, yeah, there were. And there's obviously, there's things, like, you wouldn't like about it. But overall, overall, it was good. Like, 141 as a middle school is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Like, well, the, te- okay, the teachers okay, no, were pretty good. School-wise, yeah, it was definitely a really great school. But, but like, socially? No, it was still pretty socially. Cool, socially. Yeah, it was decent, yeah. it was decent. It was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, like, it was, a, a, there was a lot of clicks. I'll say that. There was a lot of groupies. Yeah, a lot of group is every like there was like a fucking hierarchy almost. Yeah, you know, but it's but it's like but as long as you had your own little group, you you were cool. Like you yeah. you were good basically. It's like yeah, you only there well, for like three years, so. Well, like, no, I, I mean to be honest, like I actually preferred high school over. Yeah, no, yeah, obviously I preferred high school more. Cause high school is way was, more fun, bro. Because high school is when you when you like grow and develop, you know. Yeah, for sure. And the friends that you have in high school are the, are the ones you actually keep. You still have, yeah. Ones. Yeah, you still have. middle yeah. school. I mean, I do only because they live around me. That's that's the thing. Uh, nah, dude. And what's crazy is that like, um, Constantine and me, and me were 
in the same middle school, and then I oh, remember yeah, you guys didn't talk until high school. Yeah, no, I'm saying like uh, at that time, like in freshman year, it was me and Stradios. Um, by the way, guys, that's also one of our the friends. In case you guys know, um, so yeah, it was like me and Stradios were in freshman year in a different high school, and then we transferred sophomore year to Queens Vogue, and then that that's when I came to find out that Kasi was also in Queens, but I was like, oh shit. And then from that point on, we ended up like, just talking from there. Yeah. Good times though. Yeah, good times, good times. It's just awkward times, but honestly, it was good times, honestly. Because like, I remember, because after school was pretty fun, because we would just go to the park and play. That's why yeah. I didn't have that. I didn't have that bad of a time in middle school, honestly. I feel, I feel. Oh yeah, so... I wanted to ask you, so, like, um, I didn't really get the chance to really talk to you that much as I wanted to, uh, December of 2019, like, uh, for those of you who didn't know, I, I had my first ever theater play in December for Julius Caesar, and Chad didn't actually pulled through for that place. I mean, like, what was your thoughts and feelings about that entire thing? Uh, it was well acted, not gonna lie. Well yeah. acted, uh, set pieces were good. And it's like it had a good pacing. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, for sure, for sure. I had, had good pacing. Like the guy who played Caesar, really good. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like he really him. made he's that role. Ball. Yeah. Like he's the type of those dudes, like, like sitting there with like laying down with like a fucking yeah. Because yeah, remember, like some girl feeding him grapes, and he's just like Prometheus, spare me of your banality, <laughs> like something yeah. like that. So, something like, something like Braveheart. The, I remember the scene where he got assassinated. It was like the slow motion stabbing. <laughs> Yeah, you played your yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. But, but honestly, yeah, it was, it, it, it was where you guys were fighting. Like some of the things y'all threw at each other, I'm just like <laughs> that looked like it made impact. Yo. Like you know what I mean? Like it, yeah. it didn't look staged or like like you guys were acting like you actually, you know, threw shit. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, it actually looked like we this shit on his head or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's um. He definitely felt that. No, so, dude, I mean, like, as you know, this has been a pretty shitty year. Like, I mean, do you think by the end of the year it's going to get better? Like, I'm, I I feel like... Uh, like more... Yeah, I think so. It gets better. No, because honestly, I feel like the only way we could really get a better year by the end of this year is to have a new president, honestly. A what? <laughs> like, have a new president. I feel like, well, like, I mean, in November is election day. Yeah. So, I, honestly, I, like... I mean, the, uh, this is just like last time. The choices aren't that good. I mean, listen, the choices aren't that good, but to be honest, it's either... It, I mean, honestly, I, I'd rather choose Biden or Trump, me personally. I wouldn't choose either. I wouldn't really choose either. But, I mean, are you planning on voting? Um... That, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know, like... I don't know if you should vote if you don't really... If you're not really behind any of the candidates. And if you're just, you know, if you're just picking biden because that's just the lesser poison then it feels like you're just wasting a vote i mean uh, all i know is I, I could definitely see it being the biggest turnout no honestly i have my reasons why it's yeah. just like someone it could be good because biden's been biden's been like biden's been like in office or well, in politics for like 50 years like pff, dude what i mean listen it, it's it, it all really comes down to who's more rational to be honest yeah, no rational. Yeah, I watch a Biden speech and he falls asleep, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, but, cool. But I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, like, besides just politics, I really hope this year turns out to be great. Like, seriously, like, it's been a crazy year. I just hope things get better. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, COVID ruined a lot of things, but it it created a lot of things too. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but, I mean, dude, dude like, yeah, man. I mean, because of like COVID, a lot of things went down, right? So like, I started getting into like, just just looking into stocks all right and just made some money off of that it's like a lot of things went down but then some things went up and i learned that you know, there really is opportunity like in a lot of places and well, plus, yeah, yeah go ahead they go on no no, no go ahead get my bad oh, yeah and just like you know doing reading up on that i try to learn about that and plus since it's like i'm just home all day honestly i've been using grubhub so much <laughs> Yeah, like bro. straight up, like I would, I never, never used to order Grubhub because I'm like I'm not spending money. I could just go outside and get something to eat. You feel me? I mean, what, now, Uber Eats? You don't use Uber Eats? 
No, Uber Eats is fucking expensive. I'm, Uber, I'm, Eats, I'm, Uber Eats well, is expensive, and they rip you well, off. Well, I mean, to be honest, it depends. I don't know. Like, Grubhub, to me, has, like, sometimes they just waive the delivery fee. I'm like, alright. They're not, they're not as expensive as, uh, you know. They're not expensive as Uber Eats or DoorDash. Seriously, like, once again, like, it, it's been such a long time we've been, yeah. we've been in contact, like, since last time it was literally December 2019. I mean, thank you for pulling through on the podcast, bro. Yeah, no problem, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude, I wish you the best of luck, and yeah, hopefully we, we could definitely link up, like, while, when this entire thing's over, man. Yeah, was it, have you gone out at all? Uh, just a couple times, just been with the, the closest would be, like, Jamaica Ave, it's still ghetto, you know, the usual. <laughs> Did you say Jamaica Ave? <laughs> yeah, bro, the usual. Uh, yeah, I'm not, because, yeah, my parents are still, like, crazy about COVID. I feel you. But yeah, yeah when everything's over, it'll just, you know, come out. You should definitely link up, yeah, for sure, man. But yeah, man, th- th- thank you for joining us, man. And yeah, I will catch you next time, bro. All right, catch anyway. you later, bro. All right, see you later, bro. See ya. All right, so guys, that was episode four. Uh, that'll be dropped next week. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later for episode five.